All right, so we use a cup of cornmeal, a cup of flour. Now we're going to put three fourths of a cup of sugar. This is part of a mac and cheese and um, you know, corn uh, series. So I hope you enjoy it. This is going to be nice and easy, one pan. You could put in a bowl and mix it, but like, you don't have to. So keeping it simple, all right? Now I know people just like to just spray their salt on, but I really like to measure the salt, especially for, for these kind of things. So we're going to use one tablespoon. It's crazy. I blanked out on what this is called, cornbread. <laughs> this is called cornbread, everybody. All right, next we're gonna add one cup of milk, okay. Half of a cup of butter. Doesn't this look like a big soupy mess? But I mean, it's cornbread. You just mix it and it's amazing. So, Next, we are going to use three teaspoons of baking powder. Okay, Clabber Girl. Three tablespoons. And you could use this thing right here to get the right amount. One. Oh. One. Two. Three. Perfect. And the most important part is you need one egg. Large egg, any egg will do. Let's see if I can do it with one hand. Hey, great. Now all you gotta do is whisk it. Okay guys, look at that. Nice, easy, beautiful. This cornbread is gonna be great. You don't have to mix it in a separate bowl. This is like super easy, so we'll be right back. One zested lemon. I use the whole lemon. It's gonna give the cherries a nice taste. If you've ever had cherry lemonade, it tastes two amazing. And also light two tablespoons sugar. of light brown sugar. It did harden up while it was sitting just for a minute, so be careful. If you have any tips for keeping your uh, brown sugar soft, please let me know. Harden up a little bit. All right. Next, we are going to make Next, the, we are going the batter for uh, this cherry. cherry buckle. All right, I'm going to put one stick of butter. And then we're going to put one cup of whole milk right here. Can't show it on the screen, but one whole cup, perfect. A little dash of real vanilla. I don't know anybody that measures, they just throw a little dash in. Next, we're gonna use one cup of flour. one cup of that same light brown sugar we were using. So we're making a cherry buckle between a cake like cobbler and a crumble. The uh, batter, if you want to call it, is very um, light. Next, we're going to put, put in a half a tea tablespoon baking powder. And now, just a mix. a really 
really easy recipe. I love trying the uh, brown sugar, the light brown sugar. Just uh, a slightly different taste. This is such a simple recipe. I love it. My American flag cutting board. All right. Put this mixture on top. Almost looks like a big pancake, but it's called a buckle. It's amazing. Look at that. Look how beautiful that is. You just want to finish it off with um, some sugar on top just to give it that extra crust. All right, and you put the guys. So we just took it out of the oven. It was in there at 375 for about 22 minutes and it looks amazing, nice and simple, right? This was the most highly rated recipe on the internet. So, you know, it has sugar and I don't love sugar in cornbread, but let's cut into it. Give it a taste test. Nice and done. I greased the pan. Coming out real nice and easy. I know cornbread typically is, does have that dry feel to it. I do like mine more cakey. Um, but still looks amazing. Let's give it a little try. Yeah, it looks great. It would go great uh, with uh, chili, bacon. Mm. It tastes really, really good. I mean, it's very subtle too. I feel like it's not so strong the flavor compared to like a canned uh, cornbread, but it was so light. Um, I think the sugar kind of stands out more um, and the sugar wasn't too overpowering, which was which was great. But it's a great meal. Um, I would love mine a little bit more cakey, like I said, but I think this is traditionally how it looks like. So I hope you enjoyed this simple recipe. It's part of my series where I do different cornbreads and different mac and cheese. So tell me which one you like the most. Have a great day. All right, it's done, guys. I let it cool down for a little bit. It looks like a giant cookie. I think it's because of the uh, the brown sugar. So before we get into it, I wanted to show you I made a big jar of whipped cream. <laughs> it's right. actually easier to mix it in here, um, you know, old country style. So we're gonna put a couple little scoops on top. I think this is more like, oh gosh, Ooh, <laughs> that looks really good. Break. I think it's more of a like what is it called like a chantilly or something like that because it's really soft. Ooh, okay. I want it to be scoops, but it looks just like big old clumps, but. <laughs> Whatever, whatever. All right, let's take a little scoop. So let's taste it. I got my spoon, got my plate. Let's take this one right here, let's scoop it up. Oh goodness, look at the cherries, they look so good. Cherries look great. It looks like purple. Really good. Whoa. Love it. Let's get a little really bit more. Okay. Here we go. Let's take do a little taste test. And you haven't seen my face before. My, you know, no one usually sees my hair. So <laughs> I, I don't fix it, but uh, but uh, yeah. Let's take a little bite of this. Has a nice little crust on top. Looks like a cookie. Bunch of cherries inside. How do we like it? It's amazing. Okay. Love it. Yeah. Hmm. I'm trying to decide if I like this one more or the peach one. What's the What's the flavor profile? What are we getting hints of? This has a very deep flavor. Um, compared to the peach one, let me think. I mean, this one's more tangy. I put some uh, lemon in it, some lemon zest. I feel like it brings out the flavor of the cherries. It tastes really good. Not as sweet as the uh, peaches, obviously, but yeah, it's a hit. I love it. Try making this at home. You can use any fruit you want, so it's really cool.